Morning, gang. I can't quite believe that I've loaded into Microsoft Flight Simulator enough such that I can actually start to make some content. So today we're going to look at how we recreate our custom wing views in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. All right, it looks like my first officer is terrified at the prospect of making wind views in 2024. So let's dive in and let's see what we can figure out. So the way we used to do it in 2020 is we would maneuver our camera to you know, look out of a window in the cabin and then we would save that view by pressing Control, Alt and then a number on your keyboard and then to bring back that view later. So let's say you move back to the cockpit and you think I want to look at my wing view again, you would press Alt and the number, not Control, Alt and the number, just Alt and the number little bit different in 2024 so let's look at the differences first things first if you were to press alt and five let's say that i had a wing view saved to that if i press alt and five now in 2024 by default i'm getting this which kind of layers the aerodynamic system to show you what the air is doing around the plane so obviously that's no good at all so we need to go into the settings and see what's going on so we're going to look at the keyboard over here on the left and if we scroll down to camera there we go and if we go to cockpit camera we come down where are they here we go this is what i was looking for here load custom camera zero through nine so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and you can see here that we've got shift and f1 shift and f2 and then to save it, you've got um, keybinds for save custom camera 0 through 9. And to save it, again, it's shift and F5, shift and F6. So to save it, you would do shift and F5. And then to look at it, you would do shift and F1. So it's kind of like you've got two sets of numbers. That seems a bit weird to me. I would like to go back to the old system of control, alt, and a number to save, and then alt and a number to recall it. And if it means having to get rid of like things like the uh, aerodynamic system that's bound to alt and 5, then so be it. So let's get started and go through. So to load custom camera zero, I'm gonna click into here, press Alt and zero, and we're done. And it wants us to create a new profile for the keyboard because um, it's the first change we've made to the keyboard profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I will call it um, my custom keyboard and we'll apply this to all aircraft. Set as default, yeah, we'll do that because we want that to be the one that kind of um, is selected when we load the sim. And now it's just a case of going through the rest. So for custom camera view one, I'll do Alt and one. That's fine. For number two, oh, and two, you can see where this is going, can't you? We're going to go all the way through here. And finally, we're done. We've got alt and a number all the way through. That's brilliant. So let's come down to where we save the views and we're going to do the same thing, but this time it's going to be control, alt and a number. So for custom camera zero, click into it, control, alt and zero, done. And again, just like before, we're going to run through and just adjust the numbers. There we go, and we're done. So we've got save custom camera view, zero through nine, all set to their respective number. So it's control, alt, and the number. And then to look at the views once we've saved them, it's just alt and the number. One other thing you'll need to do, of course, is to remove anything that is currently mapped to say alt and a number. So for us, we found the aerodynamic overlay system was mapped to alt and number five. So if we go into the search, do search by input, type alt and five, and then you can see toggle CFD. What you can do, we can just go into here and then delete it just by using the delete key on your keyboard and we're done okay so now we are back in the cockpit and you can see here i've got an xbox controller connected if you don't have an xbox controller you can always use your keyboard to move around um so you can see i'm using the right stick here to pan around the cockpit and you would think then if i use the left hand stick we would then start to actually move around rather than just pan the camera around but you can see it's not doing a thing so what we need to do we need to come up to the top here and change the camera type from free look to fixed look which i think is the opposite of the behavior i would expect in 2020 so that's an interesting point but now you can see my right hand stick and my left hand stick on the controller are both working in concert and we can move through the cabin you might find you kind of get stuck yeah i've kind of got stuck if you bump into parts of the cabin your camera will just kind of lock and kind of get stuck uh, so be careful of that and then once we find ourselves a window we can look through we can set ourselves a camera view all right, so we found ourselves a window. So let's get up close to it and get ourselves a view that we're happy with. You might find the ailerons move because um, I think that's also mapped to some stuff on the controller by default. So get yourself in a position that you're happy with. You can also use the zoom level here. So if you want to kind of get rid of some of that window frame, you can do so. So that's a little bit better there. Maybe we look down just a touch. That is looking pretty good. Now to save it, we're going to do control alt on a number. So I'm going to save this one to number four. So I'll do control alt and four. Okay, that is done. Now the way to test it, of course, is if we get rid of the camera menu, 
Let's go back to our default view in the cockpit. I don't know why my plane is bouncing around. Um, we'll just have to chalk that up to Flight Sim 2024 weirdness. Let's <laughs> so look out the window again. Now we just need to press Alt and 4. Not Control, Alt and 4, just Alt and 4. So let's see if it works. And there it is. Happy days. That is exactly what I would expect to happen. Now we can go back to our main cockpit view. I've got a button just mapped on my joystick for that. And if you want to add any more, you can, of course. You've got, you know, potentially uh, up to 10 combinations, 0 through 9. So if we go into fixed look again, and we can just start using our camera. I quite like having some views maybe like here. That's a favorite one of mine, just sort of almost looking out on the dashboard. Also, uh, one here where you sort of get a bit of a wider sense of the cockpit, a bit of a wider field of view. Quite handy, nice for you to have during cruise, and you can also see all of your instruments as well. Uh, but in general, I like two wing views, two engine views, and a few different views in the cockpit. I, again, I don't know why the plane's bouncing around. I'm not touching anything. I really don't know what's going on with this sim. It's so weird. Anyway, folks, I hope you found that video useful. I'll leave this video here, and as always, take the very best care of yourselves, be good to each other, and happy flying.